When you're facing a bill like Bill 22, it's hard to pick one issue to focus on. The government has done this in such an underhanded fashion that it makes you wonder what else they're going to try to do. I think that public education needs the voice of the public. And judging from yesterday being on the picket lines, we've got a lot of public support and it's growing because people are recognizing this issue affects all of us. Special needs students don't have enough funding, not enough student support workers. Class sizes are overloaded. We have a lot of um, ESL learners and uh, not enough um, resources. Bill 22 is basically an attempt to gut my rights as a union member. It's not about the 15%, the, the, the numbers that have been thrown around. Uh, that's not the bottom line. The bottom line is, can we improve our education system? I'm here today because I believe as a new teacher very strongly in public education because I think it's one of the few things we have in our society that truly creates equality. I've been in this business for about 31 years and I've seen it cut and cut year after year after year. We gave up all our salaries for class size and composition only to have it stripped away. We're here because we want our education to be better. We work with these kids every day and we see the results. When the rights are taken away from the kids to have a good education and we don't want to see that for the children that we care about in this province. Public education is a right and absolutely necessary for a strong functioning democracy. Well, I'm here because I'm a teacher, and I don't think teachers and kids should be paying for the mistakes that they made. This government has given billions of dollars in tax cuts to the richest people in this province, and they have cut program after program after program. And they say we have no money yet, they've given $12 billion in tax cuts. I say we had lots of money, they just gave it away to their friends. Yeah! We believe in the public education system and we deserve to have a quality education. <laughs> Bill 22 does nothing to help our situation, which is why we are asking the government to rethink this decision. I like to say I'm surprised, but I'm not, and you shouldn't be. But I can tell you one thing. I am pissed off with what's going on with our government in this province. The people of BC want this dispute settled fairly and reasonably. They want, and now, and they want a negotiated settlement reached at the table respectfully with teachers. Unfortunately, we're not dealing with reasonable people. We're dealing with a group of people who will push this legislation through. And when they do, they need to know that we've only just begun. When they do, they need to know that the teachers of BC will defend public education with all our wit and all our strength. And they need to know that we will not rest and we will not waver, and we will never be complicit, and we will never be compliant. Yes, they need to know we will resist. And they need to know that we will do whatever it takes to restore the conditions that we need to teach our students because we are teachers. We are united, we are resolved, and we have powerful, powerful allies. Thank